And we're back. And we're back da, 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 from outer space. Outer space. I just walked in to find you here oh, with that that look upon oh, your face. Really. I should have oh, changed as a lock. I should have made you leave your key. If I'd have known for just one second, side would be back to bother me. Go on now, go. Walk out the door. What if we turn this thing into a musical? <laughs> a musical? We tried that. It didn't work. I can't tell the tune. <laughs> I can't tow the tune in a book. My feelings. <laughs> yeah. Huh? I've always just wanted like to live my life like a Disney movie for like three days, and then like every time something happened, like dun, 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 dun. look at the window. There's a door. I was about. Why to... would there be a door by the window? Oh, that's like the start of a front. I didn't know they did that anymore. Oh. <laughs> Who knew we owned ten thousand salads? I've got a three-year-old girl. Ten thousand salads. Well, that's you know. I don't mind salads as long as I got Thousand Island dressing on it. (laughs) Or vinaigrette. Vinaigrette. Um, No. No. No oil. I'm out on no. Vinaigrette. I'm not supposed to be eating it, but you can't eat a salad without something on it. That's true. Speaking of salads, I just did Christian's podcast, and you know, it's about working out and being healthy, and which isn't technically my bang zone. And I felt I felt naked over there. Because there wasn't like a computer or a desk to hide behind and old Captain America sitting beside me. So I, I moved a lot, like yeah. trying to hide right. the stuff. No, you just got to own it. Yeah, I did. At Eventually, I think. You but I moved a lot. With it. At that point, you just sit your belly on the table. Right. Hey, right. you well, there wasn't a table to set it on. You know, We were just in chairs. You just live <laughs> with in it. in chairs. Yeah. Huh. But it was like I was on Naked and Afraid over there sitting next to Captain America. I'm out Naked and Afraid. What's happening out in the world? We're naked and afraid. Apparently. Is that still a naked show? And afraid. I don't know. That old boy from here was on it. Willie tried to get me to go on it. On oh, naked and afraid. He told me he would pay me, and I was like, "I'll go sign up right now if you're going to pay." He he offered a large sum of money because he thought it'd be hilarious if yeah. I was on it. And I, let me tell you, he didn't pay. That was the amount of money that I said, "Yeah, I'll do it for that." And then he was like, "Well, that, that's just what you get paid to go on there." I said, "Whoa, whoa, whoa! That's probably well, not true." So I'm not guaranteed. Have you got to. But for. Voice. For a hundred thousand dollars, I'd go on naked. Hey, I got it right in front of me. Jay. But you got you got to stay. You got to be. Who, how does that work? I don't what, think being it's naked a, or being afraid. Both of them are. When you go out there, you got to stay for a certain amount of time, or I think so. It's like three weeks. Nope. I haven't watched a lot of it because it kind of makes me uncomfortable. Um, but the one I watched, I was like, I could do that. He just like made a hammock and said. Come pick me up in 21 days, You boys. could make a hammock? Well, by hammock, I mean he, like, got a rock and dug some dirt. and He just sat there for 21 days, which I feel like I'd excel at. He called dirt a hammock? Well, you going to do the first time that big old spider crawls across What you got to butt yeah. naked? Or a swarm. I mean, you butt naked. Yeah, or a swarm of uh Well, you get skeeters. to bring, like, one thing. Skeeters come. What's your one thing? Like then? a pot, because it's a weapon, and you can boil water, and you can cook stuff. Where are they at when they do this? They do it all over. Okay. Now, if it was cold, your boy, long gone. Uh-uh. I, I'd like them to try it in Louisiana in the summertime. No, sir. Be yeah. naked in a fridge. There you go. I don't even like being July, naked in my bathroom. in the swamp. Yeah. In July. Because, hey, even in, even in you know, early, you know, the mosquitoes don't leave till it actually gets really cold. Till the first frost, yeah. Yeah, because I, I, I've been squirrel hunting before. And I, they literally ran me out of the woods. Oh, let's talk. Do. Let's talk about something here. What? I just heard Godwin say something that I've always heard all my life. What's that? Mosquitoes leave after the first frost. I don't know. Have y'all ever been north, like Canada, Alaska, North yes. Dakota? Yes. yes. Do you I went, understand how bad the mosquitoes are up there? I went to Saskatchewan. Uh, not really. The worst place I've ever had when it's cold? was Houston, Texas. But what I'm saying is frost is... Because there's so much water down there. Yeah, now, oh, now down there? H-Town. They were literally... When we went teal hunting down there that time? No, no. After one of them hurricanes? <laughs> <laughs> it's whoa. all the marsh. All the marsh and, you know... Phil, in typical Phil fashion, got in my truck... And said, I'll go get the truck. We was picking up decoys and everything. So he went and got my truck. And when he come back, what did Phil Robertson do? He had the ones rolled down. And left every door open. Yeah. Me and Jace killed mosquitoes in my truck. For a month. From Houston. Yeah. All, all the way, way back to Monroe. Yeah. 
Six yeah. hours of killing mosquitoes. He always truck. leaves the door open. Yeah. He said if you leave the door open, they don't think you very far. He'll go, to, he'll go up town somewhere and leave the door open. Oh, we was in the middle of a flooded cow pasture. Wasn't nobody thinking we was yeah. close anyway? He said, he said right. they'll think I'm close. They won't mess with my truck. They they sink us there picking up decoys if they was going to see you. But that that was miserable. Them rice prairies down around Houston. That was. Could you imagine? That's where they need to do that show. Naked in the front. They got wow. them skeeters down there that's like as big as that cat. Oh yeah. no no! I mean big. Yeah, if you of them grab so, onto you, you think go airborne. So what? Really? What do they got to do? What is? Is it like that? I think the whole objective is don't die. Don't what? They die. just you die? just yeah. Just as long as you don't die. As long as you don't die, you just all right. sit there. I gotta watch it now. Can just you starve for twenty one days and make it? Yeah, that's where they're at. If Whatever. you can find water, you can live. Yeah. Uh, unless I guess you're already really skinny. You take stuff we. You? you get like one thing. One, Quick, one naked thing. and afraid. What you, what are you taking? Ugh. I already called a pot. Okay, hmm. one thing. I don't know. <laughs> I'm taking my him. I'm taking my Bible because I may need some assurance that yeah. <laughs> he ain't making it, boy. Yeah, I don't know that I'm, I'm gonna, gonna make I'm it gonna out take, of there. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna take a pair of drawers with me. Well, then you're not naked. Nah, but yeah. you are afraid. No, I won't be afraid. I'd be afraid to be naked. That's me. <laughs> I thought you was naked your whole childhood. Well, hey, you? I know, but that was when I was innocent. Okay. What are, oh, what you, are you, you now? <laughs> you guilty? Yeah, I'm guilty. Of what? <laughs> Whatever. I'm interested in this. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> you guilt? What do you got? You got? You need to get something off your of chest? Of course I'm guilty. Uh, no. I'm, hey, I'm just making sure. Naked and afraid. So you buy yourself out there. I think No, somebody's wig. with hey, Which is weird, right? Who's we? Some random human. Huh. I don't like that. I will, I'm not the... the uh, cartoon character the little kid oh that one yeah you know who i'm talking about mm -hmm. he's always walking around with something in his hand what is it it's a blanket it, it's that one. Uh, it's i was a about blanket. to say is it the kid the liner 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 yeah Linus. hey i'm gonna take a blanket with me y'all go out there and hey, freeze your butt off all you want to what this if you're in the tropics a big blanket with him i'm out on that that whole concept hey, hey. But it's like, there's an amount of money though that would get you there. Yeah, not for 21 days. I just I don't think I could make it 21 days. I'm not mentally tough enough. Uh, I'm. I don't even know how many days into parenthood, and I'm ready to wave a white flag. So I mean, <laughs> like, so you got to go somewhere. <laughs> you just go out there. You, tell me, I don't know nothing about it. They literally just drop you off, give you like a knife, if that's what your thing is. A knife. And say, yeah. we'll be back in 21 days. But, you know, and you just not to be that. the guy that says reality TV, considering the fact we're sitting in a duck call room. But, you know, there's cameramen there. So, I mean, they probably got cliff bars hey, and stuff. <laughs> Martin brought up a good point, and he admitted he's not tough enough. Uh-uh. I ain't there. I'm the same way. Okay. Just like I'm, that show alone. But, I love the show alone, but I don't want to go be it. No. <laughs> I'm not like, tough enough, but I'm dumb enough and prideful enough to try oh yeah. and fail miserably. I'm greedy enough for the right amount of money to yeah. give it a whirl, but I just. <laughs> yeah, I'm man, it's going to need to. It's going to need just to. don't have the. The heart. It's going to need okay. to secure all the debt I have back yeah. here to make yeah. sure that my wife is taken care yeah. of. Like, exactly. I mean, don't call it a cash prize. Call it insurance. Like, <laughs> Life but insurance. Yeah, I mean, you really don't know, because I've always said this on, on a lot of things, you really don't know how much you can take till you're actually put to the test. That's right. That's I got true. a pretty good idea. If I'm naked in the tropics, I'm out. Yeah. yeah, that's a broken. Well, no, no, that's I, a broken. Pencil. I see your point because I, I just, you know, I look at people doing stuff like this, and I said, no. Nah. If I'm naked in Kansas, nah. I got a chance. Kansas. I'm just Ooh. saying, if I'm naked in Costa Rica, be, I'm out. Nah. I'm, mean, I'm about to get just ripped. I just the don't want to be naked outside. <laughs> You'd rather be naked inside. Yeah. If I'm gonna be naked, I prefer one. You of like two to rooms. be naked in a hot tub? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Godwin loves a good sulk. Right. <laughs> you know, got to get the. <laughs> what you laughing at? 
Where did all this come from? <laughs> I don't know. We just talked about it. Welcome to the nudity episode. That yeah. must be yeah. a lot of it's a broken pencil. It's a broken pencil. I ain't got it's nothing great. to pin up. I love it. It's a broken pencil. Pointless. <laughs> <laughs> Duck Commander is 100% American made, and it's nice when we can partner with other American made companies like our friends over at American Giant. Johnny D's got the hoodie on. He's a little cold natured. It's it's fall out there, but it ain't hoodie weather quite yet for me. Well, that's why I got the zip up hoodie. You know, zip it up, you get warm, you unzip it, you feel the breeze. It's you- a, and look, this thing, when they made this thing, they said, we're going to make this thing nice. Hey, that it is awesome. American Giant is 100% made in America. Look, when you are made in America, your impact of the company support the local communities and not just the other way around. Johnny D, how are you liking that full that full zip hoodie? Son? I love full zip. Look, I'm cold. I'm warm. I, this and this zipper, this thing is the night. It's not that little crappy zipper that's gonna break in no day. But it's legit. American Giant creates American made basics designed to endure. They reinvest profits locally right back into the people and supply chains that power them. American made means lasting quality. Less waste in stronger communities. More than making great clothes, they're rebuilding the craftsmanship and community that made made in America quality possible. That, that's they're they're doing what they say, and that's why the name Giant works for them because Giant is strong. Mm-hmm. Right? I mean, unlike most clothes that are made today, quick, cheap, profitable as possible, the classic full zip from American Giant is made to wear, not wear out. This thing, that's why I keep saying, like this thing ain't this is nice. It's yeah. not some cheap piece of jump it's, it's it's made out of all pre-shrunk cotton reinforced elbow structured side panels custom hardware that's the zipper johnny d's talking about it's quality you can feel immediately you'll wonder why all clothes aren't made this way no wonder it's been called the greatest hoodie ever made for 10 years and counting you can see more of the story right now and shop the classic full zip at american-giant.com and get 20 percent off when you use code duck at checkout that's american-giant.com promo code duck Did he bounce when you dropped him? I was asleep. I don't know. Oh, okay. Wait, what? Yeah. You Did dropped him bounce? while you were sleeping? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's big time. Hey, hey, How'd you a, do that? It's a funny story. He was tired. <laughs> I was tired, man. I was oh, tired, well. man. I was feeling like you are right now. <laughs> we got to hear that. Boy, I hope not. I hope <laughs> I ain't nobody hear about it. this. No, so I went. So when we, you know, we, <laughs> we only had one at a time, so it was a little easier than what Martin's going through, but I took... Allison would do the like midnight ish shift, mm-hmm. right? And so that way she could sleep. Yeah, and then I would t- like I said, here's the deal: give me the miserable shift on all of our kids or the second two. I said, give me them two, and that way I could stay up or I could go to bed. Like I just had to wake up at one time. Mm-hmm. She would get like a solid seven hours straight and oh. maybe six, mm. <laughs> but I took the miserable shift. And so then one night I stayed up too late, fell asleep for like 30 minutes. Well, then here it's time for the miserable shift. So I wake up, go, I change the diaper, swaddle him back up. And let me, Martin, if you ever need a professional swaddler. A swaddler. No, we on them sleep sacks. That's it. Is that the ones with the Velcro? Yeah, just uh-uh. like a sock. These got a zipper on them. Hey, just I like drop that. them, drop them and <laughs> just let them kick yeah. down a little bit in it. Hey. So we had the Velcro, but I mean, I could. I, oh, yeah, we got Velcro. I turned my kids into footballs, like yeah. hard as a rock. You could throw them wherever you wanted. <laughs> and so then we had a chair in the, in Ben's room. I'm feeding him. And I'm, you know, <laughs> I'm I've been there. I've been there, buddy. And he's, you got he's, one finger on that bottle. He's sucking that bottle down. <laughs> and then I, I fell asleep, and he's... He's just, Girl. he's still eating. <laughs> and he started rolling. I woke up and he's standing up, but he on the ground and just boom, out of the chair, onto the floor, carpet floors. And I was like, <gasps> oh, that ain't a full blown drop. Yeah, I, well, yeah. I mean, it was a boom, boom, boom. That like, was a tip. It was like, a, was a, no, no, that was a, that was a drop and roll. Like, yeah. Yeah. He, yeah. I'm glad he landed on his, whatever his feet and then boom. Yeah. He looked at me and I looked at him and was like, don't tell mom. Yeah. And he was like, I can't. And I was like, perfect. I can't. Just don't ever. That's right. See, I saw. So then I picked him up and he, I was like, why do you uh, He's fussing? talking, huh? I no, watched, he wasn't talking. I watched my buddy Ben drop his son, William. How far? Enough. Enough. <laughs> Enough. <laughs> Enough where I said, all Uh-oh. right, I'm out of here. <laughs> See you later, bro. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know what to do because I saw the look on his wife's face. I know how mean she is. 
Woo. And I said, uh-uh. Mama bear. Your, your boy out. I'll, I'll see mama's y'all. Mama's fury. Don't mess with it. Boy, it was mama wild. Mama bear. But, I mean, hey, I say this. He dropped that kid on his head. He just won student of the year. There you go. It ain't all bad. Maybe that. Uh-uh. Hey, a couple of hey they he made out of it. rubber right now anyway. That yeah. is true. I mean, they're they're way tougher than I am. You got to be tough as a kid because people drop you and fall asleep on you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Roll over on you. Yeah. yeah. We finally got clearance to not wake them up during the night, which is awesome. Except like last night I got what, like three and a half hours straight sleep, which was mm. fantastic. But then when I woke up at four o'clock, feed them i couldn't go back to sleep because now i'm used to it now i'm like well rested at three and a half hours i was (laughs) i was so mad and so then by the time we get up here i'm back to uh whatever you look good i i don't feel good so it's just a we got to get a shift it's a shift and but well, the problem the, is back to the matter that I don't have to. I can get rid of all these ridiculous alarms on my phone now, because there was one for like you know, two fifty two, five fifty two. I was pushing it to the end because that bottle warmer takes seven minutes to get it right temperature. So like I was giving myself a minute to get up and get over and put that thing in that warmer. So <laughs> and I got pretty good at it. Like I was trying to maximize time. Maximize now. I, now I just listen for them. Time management, boys. Ah, which they, when they did it this morning, they were very polite about it. They weren't even rude. <laughs> <laughs> just train them up in the ways they should go. Yeah, man. they were just ah, ah, ah. No, oh, yeah, over there gnawing on his hand. I said, "Yeah, it's time. Let, let's go." He ain't training them; they're training him. Yeah, yeah. ain't no at, doubt about that. At this juncture, at this job, that's all right. I win in the end. They're in charge. Yeah, but boy, right now they, yeah, no, it's good though. They're. I'm just glad I don't have to wake a sleeping baby. What if you had three? Huh? What if you would have had three? Uh, I mean, at this point, I don't know. Uh, you, hire, <laughs> you hire somebody, I suppose. I don't, I mean, you, you figure out something to do. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it's I above mean, my pay grade. Yeah. yeah. I would suspect you end up in therapy, too, to some extent. How? What? <laughs> How's Brittany doing? She's doing good. She's solid? Yeah. That's good. Yeah. She better at it than I am. She growling at you, any? Oh. <laughs> we growling at each other. You been in trouble lately? <laughs> Have you gotten All any trouble? Time. No. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> and he really don't he care. He don't even so That means you have it. And he yeah. don't even care. I mean, my deal is I'm just like, look, it's the same old deal right now. Somebody told me that had twins, he said, look, just remember you love each other because here for a little while, you're not going to like each other at all. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know. so my uh, my cousin, her twins boys are, oh. man, I got a lot of twins in my family. I just realized I'm glad I, no offense, I'm glad I didn't have it. Um, they, uh, she, they had a rule, they're like 18 now or something, maybe not, they're in high school, but their rule was not, nothing we say counts between like 12 a.m. and 6 a.m. because it got... Apparently, it got kind of rude. Yeah. I'm going to need to extend that window. Because <laughs> I'm like I'm like rolling at like midnight. Like, I feel pretty good around midnight. It's from about 4 a.m. till about now where I'm really struggling. It's, uh, no, it's good. It's fun. How old? I feel I like they're, that. they're like three months old now. Yeah, no, they're three weeks today. Three weeks. Three weeks. Three weeks. Three weeks. How, t- how time flies when you're having fun. Is it? Because <laughs> now, I mean, I know they're three weeks, but now I don't remember a time without them. It's kind of weird. Like it's, like, I know, it's all been all consumed. that time's gone. Yeah, it's it's all consuming. But are you, so you're going? You're when are you going hunting? I'm going Friday. Friday. Yeah. To take a nap in the stand, or are you actually going to kill something? Sleep. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I don't. Yeah. I may well, have a weird, I may have a weird alarm set. They better in. hurry up. <laughs> Yeah, they better get there quick, because if I sit there for too long, I'm going to be out. I'm going to have that hunter safety system strapped tight. Yeah, you better tight. let somebody know where yeah. you are. so we can Wind blowing in the leaves. Better go wake Why? up, Martin. Mm. Why? If that tree gets to rocking just right. Oh, yeah. yeah. It'll be out. It'll be a change to be the one being rocked <laughs> instead of the one doing the rocking. Uh, I remember I used to sleep in them climbing stands. That don't seem very smart. But so it I'd had be, a rail. Climbers had rails on. Yeah, you be you had a 
Well, you facing the tree. I'd turn around and face the tree. Oh, put your head on it. And put my head down on the <laughs> deal. When I'd work graveyard, yeah. I'd go climb up that tree and I'd. I was wondering if that was BC or. <laughs> it was. I was wondering if you were sleeping off the night before or. That too. <laughs> uh, BC. Yeah. Oh, man. Good well, let's night. take another break. We'll be back right after this. You've heard us talk about how much we love all the My Pillow products from Mike Lindell, the My Pillow guy. Look, here's the deal. It's fantastic products. Brittany ain't take those slippers off since she got home from the hospital, so. <laughs> of course, there ain't no reason to because we change in clothes 17 times a day, spit up and everything else, but you ain't got to change your shoes. I yet. wear them everywhere I go. You can wear the slippers anywhere you want to. Look, the bed sheets, fantastic. The towels. Oh, excellent. I, excellent. That's Sai's favorite. <clears throat> the slippers, the pillows, you name it. Sheets. If it starts with my, it's solid. And if Mike Lindell's behind it, it's even more solid. Right now, my pillow is having their biggest bed sheet sell ever. The my pillow percale sheets are available in a variety of colors and all sizes are on sale. For example, the queen size sheets are regularly priced at $89.98, and right now they're only $39.98 with promo code duck at mypillow.com slash duck. Order now because they have a very limited supply. The MyPillow Percale sheets are breathable and have a cool, crisp feel. They have deep pockets fit over any mattress, and they come with a 10-year warranty and a 60-day money-back guarantee. You've got to check out the great specials from MyPillow. Go to MyPillow.com slash duck and use promo code duck to get up to 66% off and get the MyPillow Percale sheets for as low as $29.98. Again, just go to MyPillow.com slash duck and use promo code duck. Or call 800-969-3137 and use promo code DUCK. Order now because when they're gone, they're gone. Now, I want nobody. Martin, to... you just I got... just seen a black lynx. Okay. We're rolling. Canadian lynx. Oh, are we on that? Well, hey, I just, you, y'all. Yeah. Hey, I'll show it to the hey, people. I thought it was a dog like you told me, one of them schnauzers. With yeah. the puff on what the is side. it? A Canadian black, black lynx. lynx. Rare. Right, very rare. Never been a picture of them before now. Until now. Until, Until now. Today. Done by somebody with a Motorola flip phone. <laughs> hey, easy, easy. <laughs> easy. Black Panthers don't hang out in iPhone country, man. They well, know. Since you showed it, how much did that, that thing weigh? What would you say? That thing. Weighed? Thanks, yeah. thanks Greg, the for the photo from... Central I, Illinois. I mean, crap, he can't be bigger than 20 pounds, can he? I don't know. That's just a black box. Come on, come on. Yeah. Average size of a lynx. Look at it. I have no idea. I I, I don't live where lynxes. I would say looking at him, and I'm looking know. at him on JD's computer. Say lynx is 10 six. times real fast. Lynx is lynx is lynx is lynx is lynx is lynx is Mm-hmm. So I say in a lynx is 60 pounds. I have no 60. idea. No, I don't 60. know. 40 to 66. There you the go. Range. Hey, I was range. in the range, boys. But you know Stone. And I hadn't even looked it up. Stone saw a Black Panther. This pump. Where at? On Phil's property. And he said he hates to admit it. And he, I, you were having kids. Well, we was talking about it. He said, I hate to even say this. And he just. Yeah. He said, I just seen a black cat with a big, long black tail. Mm. Martin? Stone been drinking again. Them? No. <laughs> No, here's the deal. Here's the deal. A bobcat's got a longer tail than you think. No. Yep. <laughs> no. Hey. hey. Now, you've seen these bob uh, uh, bobtailed uh, pointers? They're not just bobtailed. Hey. A lot of them bobcat, are bobcat is not I, bobcat. How, how long was the tail you've seen on a bobcat? Longest tail. Tail's about that long. Oh, get out of here. Huh? Are we about to get in a fight? No. I hope so. No. I'm just letting them go at it. I'm too old to get in the fight. I'm letting the two old conjurers get in. <laughs> no, no. Up hey, I'm too old to get in the fight. I'm I'll, too I'm hey, too tired. I would do like they say on that uh, the uh young western guys, the Pony Express guys. When you run up on Indians, you don't stand and fight. You run. Yeah. Hey, that's, no, the, I mean, that's the way I am. There's a lot of bobcats down there and I've looked at them thinking I didn't think their tail was that long. I, I, we're just reporting what Stone told me and Si. And I was That's with the wild. man. And I was with the man. And if Stone's on our side, we might win a fight. But I just can't believe Stone was, he, I, he kind of backtracked and said it was, you know, Dan the Butler's well, house I, cat, but. Uh, I will use an analogy. Where, where, where did he see him at? Huh? 
in a curve on Phil's property on the road? Always in a curve. It's always in a curve. <laughs> Every time. Why That's would right. they go right. anywhere else? Hey, I know. Look. I, it's I, always, everything's it's, always on the it's curve. It's so yeah. bizarre. Right. He was right down there. I made that curve. My headlights hit him, and there he was, standing in the middle yeah. of the road, like <laughs> naked and afraid. Every single time. That's right. I, but it's stone. And if they're not in a curve, they're in a thicket. I saw him. He was just going right through that. You That's couldn't right. get a shot. That's right. Couldn't get a shot at him. He was in a thicket. But it was these men have shot button heads through thickets for thirty years That's with right, a thirty yeah. thirty open sights, and That's they go it. there and they lay in right there. But all of a sudden, a black cat get there, they can't shoot him. That's right, because hey. he ain't there. <laughs> Woo. I just don't I, understand. We're just reporting how so many of them have been seen. Well, I got an analogy. Yet none of them have been brought back. I, I got an analogy for you on that. What? Have we seen everything in the ocean? That ocean deep. I know it. And this world's hey, big. So is Louisiana deep. Woods. It's so deep and so thicket that you can't crawl through it because I've tried it. It's so thicket you can't crawl through it. That's right. Can't crawl okay. through it. So, hey, and you telling me that, hey, That's... there ain't no black cats hiding out there in them thickets? 100%. Hey, I don't believe you. Oh, uh, there's black cats there. Yeah. They're domesticated felines that right. got out. Uh, uh, right. cats. There's plenty of black it's, cats uh, in it's them. It's a cat, yeah. a, a house cat they threw away. <laughs> yeah. Well, I didn't really throw them away. You never had a chance. That grew into a panther. That's right. They grew into a panther. That's wild. I just don't understand how, with uh, all the rednecks hunting in this country, uh, that have claimed to see them. Yeah. They see them in curves. And headlights. And they see them on high lines. Uh, well, never, uh, and I've they never, never seen, ever have a gun. Never oh, seen, oh, no, no. They've had guns. I've never seen a tailgate picture. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, they've had guns because I talked to a guy. He's seen two of them. Anything Fear else? Hunting. Look, here's what I'll tell you. Anything else rare they see, they got a picture with it. Well, like, a ground swatted. Like a black squirrel, what about, he dead. That's right. And they show them to A you. white skunk, he dead. Yeah. They always yeah. got their gun on that kind of stuff. Yeah. Really? That black cat, they ain't ever got it. But what about Sasquatch? Would you shoot him? I ain't never seen Not it. these days, because there's too many costumes being sold, and That's I don't right. want to go to jail for manslaughter. That's right. Yeah. Don't want to hate it. See, so Sasquatch could be real. Because the, the human race is stupid enough to put on one of the costumes and walk I out seen in the wild. One, I seen a, I guess it was a panther one time, years ago. It wasn't black. It was deer colored. Right. I saw one in Wyoming, very brown. Very, <laughs> very much scared me to death, and I realized that, that was that, a mountain lion. And I realized at that point I had never seen one of those before. He was chasing a rabbit until never. I saw him. I said, yep. "No, Don't I ain't never seen him before." Yeah, okay, yeah, I know what he looked yeah. like. Now. Yeah, me yeah. too. Cause I seen the black. But family. you know what was funny? He and was I seen behind a, a curve. Uh, he was, was in a curve. <laughs> he was. Hey. What? <laughs> we made that curve on the on that two hundred dollar road they call it up there. Made That's that it. curve and that hey. big that big mountain lion sitting right there on his yeah. haunches in the middle of the road. And he said, "Your deer stands right down that way." Yeah, he said, "No, we're going that way." He went that way. I said, "No, you lying to me." <laughs> oh, that reminds me of he the sighting that me and Phil had of the black panther. Oh, oh no, no, Here no, we no, go. no, no. What? Look, what's with the groans? No, no, There's look, a sight. look. Hey, Junction City, Arkansas, Perfect Louisiana place. State. Now this was Arkansas, Louisiana, Arkansas Road. I've got to take everything here at extremely less than face value because at Junction City, this was Phil yeah, BC as well. That was BC. This involved a lot of brown water. Yeah, y'all had a friend. Not y'all. Well, hey, I, I was never been, say, now up y'all there wasn't been involved clear water. in that brown water. <laughs> it had been clear look, water it, up hey, there. Here's the deal: <laughs> in a curve and a hill. Oh no! In a curve and a hill. And boy. a hill. Oh. We come around the curve Triple. and come down the hill and look down there on a dirt road. This is a dirt road that runs for what? Yeah, straight 60, as 70 a mile. Straight as an arrow. Straight as an arrow. The okay, only curve. In, I've, been, I've been on that right, road. Except for a couple of curves. We come over the hill, around the curve, coming down, and hey, there's something black running across the road. So look, we come just, he stomped it. You know what they call that? Slide oh. sideways, okay, and we're looking, and hey, there he goes over, over the hill. Big long tail. I mean, a big one. This was a big male. Somebody call Phil Robertson. But, but look, I'm just going to prove this point. You said that was on State Line Road at Junction yes, City? Arkansas. Look, yes, sir. Look, right there. Look at all them woods. Ain't no way it's all been explored. 
Well, no, no, that's what I'm saying. Look, uh, hey, here, here, here. All them woods? Ugh. All them woods. Oh, they touch that state line? Yeah. I just about guarantee you every one of them been clear cut. Yeah. And it's grown back in a in a yeah. pine plantation. Hey, yeah. no, no, into, <laughs> now, look, at, look how thick hey, that is in, no, no, in perfect, yeah, in, a perfect in a perfect row. <laughs> right. Like, yeah. Like, careful when you start but using this, satellite imagery. Hey, this was back before they did all that. Oh, it was, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's and, back and in the 60s. It was all wood, look, yeah. This was back look in at the all 60s. the woods. That's back in the 1900s. Yeah. 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 And Phil Robertson didn't have a gun with him. Yes, he did. No, yeah, he did. <laughs> yeah, he did. He don't go anywhere without a gun. And yet. He, uh, well, no, no, he's I, one of the greatest yeah, woodsmen I've ever been around, and yet that cat slicked him too. Well, I, he got away. <laughs> They're elusive. Hey. They're elusive. Hey, look, the elusive. man goes squirrel hunting barefoot. He come back with fifty seven of them. Yeah, and a cat in the middle of the road gets away from him. I don't look, believe. Excuse it. me. Yeah, I he don't went, believe. You don't believe on. it, boys. Hey, <laughs> Phil squirrel hunts barefoot. Hey. Barefoot. Oh no. I think now he Jay, wears socks. Jace oh, does, no, too. No, no. I was the one that done that because I come in from my army on leave. Time out. Time out for what? Let's take a break. Let's uh, talk about, I, let's yeah, talk about barefoot this, squirrel uh, hunting. Uh, yeah. You can't go naked and afraid, but you can squirrel hunt barefoot. We got to. Oh, no. This is the wildest thing you want to ever hear. Martin. Yo, buddy. You know what is coming and I'm running out of time for? Um... Christmas. We're decorating already, baby. Because Oh, it is. Christmas. <laughs> was, but you know what's scary? Whenever you're running in a retail shop and you got all the stuff to do, like, I'm sure, Duck Commander, I'm going to run out of time. Or we ain't running. am I? No, you ain't going to run out of time because you ain't making trips to the post office. Exactly. Uh, you're going to use stamps.com. You're going to use stamps.com. You're going to schedule a pickup. You're going to print postage. They're going to come there and get it and we, take it off from there. Look, we just dropped the 50th anniversary stuff last night. Yep. We got stamps.com stuff going out of here left and right today. Yep. And you need it because, look, times are tight. Hey, and You're running out of it before Christmas. And so save yourself some time because you got to shop too. There's never been a time in history truer than right now where time is money. And you got to save every dollar you can. For more than 20 years, stamps.com has been indispensable for over 1 million businesses. You can get access to the USPS and UPS services. You need to run your business right from your computer. No lines, no traffic, no hassle. Even save money with major discounts on USPS and UPS rates up to 86% off. It's a stress-free it's a stress-free solution for every small business. Use stamps.com to print postage wherever you do business. All you need is a computer and a printer. And if you do if you need a package pickup, you can easily schedule it through stamps.com dashboard. Rates are constantly changing with stamps.com switch and save feature. You can easily compare carriers and rates so that you know you are getting the best deal each and every time. This holiday season, trade late nights for silent nights and get started with stamps.com today. Sign up with promo code DUCK for a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a free digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the page, and enter code DUCK. And never go to the post office ever again. How did y'all squirrel hunt? How did you use okay, to squirrel no, hunt? No, look, when now Phil, you sit on Kay's when porch Phil and squirrel hunt. When Phil was like 25, I'd be, what, you know, two years younger. I'd be 23. I'm in the military. I'd take 30 days leave and come, you know, during hunting season. <clears throat> I brought a bunch of old Army socks that I wore. Old ones, you know. <laughs> then gave him to Jay. So I gave him that stupid uh, bombardier. Yeah, hat he used to wear all the time. That he used to wear all the time. Anyway, so look, he used to wear socks, the army socks, because he could. He said, "I can feel them little limbs that if you you have boots, you just you crack it. When it crack, it break, it crack." He says, "No, with them socks on, I can feel it." So look, he comes up every one night. And he says, "Hey, come on, let's go score hunting. I found them." Now that's when I was living in Junk City. So we take off, go on the Arkansas Louisiana State Line Road. Okay. He pulls over, you know, we get out, and he said, oh, we're about 50 yards apart. I done stepped in the woods. He said, hey, oh, I forgot to tell you. And I said, forgot to tell me what? He said, for every squirrel, there's at least 10 to 15 cotton mouths, smokskins, uh, you know, copperheads, whatever. You know, so I look. I've done took three steps in the woods, okay? There is a copperhead and two water moskins laying in like that. And I started to walk around them. 
I ain't got about an hour to dark. I said, no, I'm going to have to walk back through here when it's dark. Boom, boom, boom. Blow them three's head off. So look, I get a hundred yards in the woods. It's starting to get dark. So they had cut this woods, clear cut them, okay? Big pine tree stump on the edge of a hill for a creek running through. So look, I sit down and I keep turning, yo. And every time I'm turning, bark off that pine tree is falling down into the creek. Okay, there's been a flood and that about half of them roots of that stump is clear. So I keep hearing something. And I said, yeah, you know, bad here. You know, and I said, that sounds awful close. And I looked down, and just about two foot below me, coming up through the roots, is about Congo, about big as my bicep, and about four <laughs> foot long. So, hey, I just jump up and say, hey, boom, get back down in the water where you belong. So, look, I literally, right then I said, hey, I better get out of the woods before it gets dark. So Phil's in the woods over there, and he's done, you know, shot three boxes of shells, you know, and he hears me, boom, 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 boom. So I finally get to the road, okay. It's got dark, and I see the headlights. He's already got the truck come up there, and he pulls up, you know, and he's, boy, you tore him up, didn't you? I said, yeah. He said, how many did you kill? I said, well, I think I shot 27 times. <laughs> And he said, well, good creeps, you got 27 squirrels? And I said, no, I got 27 cottonmouths. <laughs> you know, he said, you were shooting snakes? And I said, you better believe it. And I said, hey, next time you come here to Cunt, don't even bother stopping at the house because I ain't going. <laughs> uh, and this was all barefoot? Stepping, huh? This was all barefoot? Oh, no, he yeah, was. He, goes. he was, and he had about yeah. 40 squirrels with him. I showed up to work one day, one year when I was, I was back when he was a heathen. When we were down there at the mouth of Cypress, I showed up to work and Jay said, You think my shoes over by your deer stand? I said, No, I ain't seen them. He said, I kicked them off somewhere. I don't know where I went. <laughs> <laughs> he got right. to chasing them squirrels. Right. Chasing them squirrels. Them boys used to get mad dog mean at a squirrel now. They did. Oh, the best one was when they hunted the the migrating squirrels in Arkansas. Yeah, I've done that. I've seen that hey, before. Shoes on, shoes off. Uh, shoes off. That's and look. But you didn't need to. All you need to do is just sit down. Oh, no, no. It was a, it was hilarious to listen to. Because <clears throat> Phil would get out of the truck. He'd disappear through the woods, and all you would hear was, boom, 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 boom. Like the end of a song. And then it just, <laughs> finally it would just fade away. He's done run seven miles and shot four boxes of shotgun shells. <laughs> Chasing them migrating squirrels. <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't, it hey, been, wouldn't it have been easier to get out in front of them? I, just hey, them you couldn't get out in front of them, no. You can't get out in front of them. Look, fast, Martin. No, no. Get he on, told me. I ain't got no shoes on the run. No, no. Look. <laughs> get on the downhill side. Look, I come walking up at before daylight in the truck headlight. I got a new gun. I bought me a new brand new Marlin 22. Young Phil says, what kind of gun is that? And I said, 22. Well, he busted out laughing. All of them did. It was about three or four or something. They all got to laughing. And he said, hey, we're hunting migrating squirrels, son. And I said, what are you talking about? He said, hey, they never stop. He said, they just come through, running through the woods on the on the ground, on the log, in the top of the tree. They never stop. And I said, oh, get out of here. You know, squirrel ain't don't just run through the top of the trees and on the ground. So, yo, like I said, I hear him. He's done shot a box of shells running away from me, you know. Well, I'm looking, you know, I ain't seen nothing yet, you know. Then all of a sudden there's a log laying over there, you know, and, hey, three was just, just wide open down that log. Well, I didn't even raise the 22. I said, okay. So I got looking up woods. So I'm like, here they go. You know, let them go. Right, here come five more. I finally said, well, hey, if you're going to kill them, you're going to shoot them running, son. Okay, got one, got that one. You know, I come up there and I had eight. I had my limit. <laughs> what? Hey, Phil come walking up and he had 57. But he had done shot five boxes of shells. Like I said, what? that was that was back in the day when hey, he was a lawbreaker. Okay. Before I was BC, before he come to Jesus. 
Lawbreakers. Hey, oh, to the max. Can I just yeah. tell you something real fast? The sound effects you gave on that story were outstanding. Oh, well, hey, hey. <laughs> you got to have sound effects for it. It was like an ending of a song. Hey, that's it. Hey. Well, I, I'm talking about literally, he had literally shoot his away out of hearing range. So he, you shot eight with a 22 uh, on yeah, the run? Yeah, on the run. And look, and hey. How don't shoot shell? him in the head. You can't I mean, shoot him in the head. I mean, well, yes, you, you shoot? can. Miss K get mad. Uh, well, I know, but hey, that's when you're shooting them out of her yard. You know, she don't she don't like me sitting on the back porch in a rocking chair. And every once in a while, you hear the chair stop and you hear. I guess if you think about it at K's, uh, which one is the back porch? Yeah. <laughs> well, I have no idea. What do you call the backyard? Yeah, she's done that in the front porch to it, okay? It's yeah. mine at our circle porch. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just wondering what she got says. The back I'm porch, going... the, the front porch, and the, uh, the what the, what they call it, the kitchen on top of the hill. Yeah, the cook shack. Yeah, the cook shack has got a porch on it, too. Yeah. Well, hey, a lot I of just, porches down depending there. Depending on what tree they're in. That depends yeah. on what sport I'm on. He had lawn chairs sitting all over. Hey. So, I, so I had a chair. All there, over the there place. There ain't but about 12 trees down there, so I had four chairs. That's right. Yeah. Hey. Strategically placed. That's How right. many hey. squirrels have you killed from Out of her horse? yard? Yeah. Oh, Lord. Oh, good grief. Probably 25 or 30. I don't know, but that day he dropped that one on top of the duck call building while we were sitting there yeah. building well, duck yeah. call. Yeah. You hear a side go, pop. Yeah. You hear him. Boom. Right on top of our head. Ten buildings. Yeah, right on I top said, of that metal bill. No, I said I got to break out the ladder. It's on top of the the, the work shack, boy. It scared me to death. Because there's a big water oak tree right there by that old tin building. So they get up there, cut them acorns late. Inside, just shot that thing, and it just it scared me to death sitting inside. The best there. one we look, we're we're in there. I'm doing the reeds. They're all doing duck calls, and Jason is working on on wood duck calls, and he. You know, and then hey, next thing you do, he did it again, and, and a wood duck answered it. Sure did, sure you know, did. Said, True story. I said, Jake, hit it again. He did it. You know, and it's right outside. So hey, I got up and just looked out, and there was two wood ducks sitting on the oak tree right beside our work shack. He had called them in from the river. They were flying down the river. Both of them come up there and lit on that oak tree, and they was talking to each other. Jace would do it. They'd talk back. He'd do it again. They'd talk That's back. That's a true story. <clears throat> and I said, Jace. I don't know where I they said, come hey, from, but they were in that tree. You got that down, tree. Jack. I said, because, hey, you called two off of the river, and they're sitting on that stupid oak and limb. If I had a twenty two, I'd kill both of them. <laughs> Did you, <sighs> you let them live? No, I let them live. Didn't have a twenty two. And it was June. But, hey, I, <laughs> just thought, June. I just thought it was pretty cool that, hey, we done got the wood duck called down to them. How come they don't That's let us shoot That's a great commercial. Woody's during teal season. Because down here they still got youngins. Oh, what, the wood ducks? Yeah. Oh, they're, they're, they're here. It's a great acorn crop this year. There's about a thousand. Oh, I know. Down there on the lake and on the lane. Well, good. Awesome. Yeah. At, least so, hey, at least y'all have some. We still get three water, this year. I ain't hey, even... That's a duck hunt right there if you got five people. Because five times three is. And them dead. things are good. Hey, Stone eat. done got it down to where you think you're eating ribeye. Yeah, y'all bring me some? Right, no. Why Never not? ain't any none left. Dang. Yeah, ain't none left. Well, that ain't nice. Yeah, that's like one of the green wing teals. Just had twins, man. Yeah, it yeah. took about two weeks to get them. And then he grilled 60 of them. 60 Half breast, you know, and uh, everybody's coming back to him. Stone, hey, where's the where's the uh, duck wraps? He said, "You bunch of pigs, you done ate sixty. <laughs> you know, they ain't no more. Yeah, you know, I cooked sixty. Good grief. Oh man. Well, let's All take right. our last break. We'll be back right after this. We back. All right, we're back. Last segment, mailbag segment. Uh -oh. Hello at duckcallroom.com Hello. is the email. Hello. Address. Johnny D, what's in there? I'm going to give you three choices. Go ahead, subject George. line alone. We've got church. Okay. Okay. Relationship advice. Okay. okay. And I made my girlfriend cry dot 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 help. Yeah, that one. <laughs> made I made cry. my girlfriend cry about what? Uh, just, the subject line is I made my girlfriend cry. Okay. Dot, 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 right, let's go with that one first, then. Hey, guys. Love the podcast. 
This is Clay from Kentucky. By Clay from, from Kentucky. Kentucky. Something about them boys named Clay. Clay yeah. from Kentucky. Uh, oh, boy, making girls cry. Uh, Look, he lives in the country. They got a mice problem. So uh-oh. my family got some outdoor-only cats to help. Yeah, barn cats. Oh. Yeah, barn cats. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't know where this is going. All right, we have cat food out to keep them around. Not much, just a little. As I'm sure you all know, everything's really expensive these days, even cat food. Anyways, recently a lot of possums have been helping themselves to the cat food. To the cat food. Oh, yeah. Right. After a few failed attempts, I grabbed my 20-gauge, shout out to Cy, and smoked one at three yards with my turkey choke <laughs> in. Hashtag oh. dropped them. He didn't put the hashtag. I was pumped that I finally got one. However, I came inside to my girlfriend crying. She had witnessed it all through the window, and she wasn't too thrilled with me. Not a country girl, huh? She's no city girl, but she insists I'm a murderer for killing the innocent possum. So he's got two questions. Would you kill the possum? Number two, am I an animal murderer? Clay. From Kentucky. P.S. Black Panthers are real. There you go. That's why you picked that. <laughs> Y'all picked it. Y'all picked All right, it. I don't even know what to answer that. There's a bunch of possums eating the cat food. You got to do something about it. Uh, you, they're your well, cats. I, I got my own story on that. Mine wasn't possum and I didn't shoot them. But it's the three biggest coons I've ever seen in my life. Christine loved cat, my wife. Sweet pea. And we got a whole bunch of them. The next door neighbor had about 20 cats that she had. Well, Christine was putting cat food out on the front porch. You know, and she said, good grief. I said, what? She said, that, I just bought that 50-pound bag of cat food yesterday, and it's gone. It's gone. You know, and I said, well, you're feeding 25 cats. No wonder, you know. So that night we're sitting there and I heard a noise on the front porch and I turned the light on and I'm serious. These coons, okay, a coon normally weighs, oh, 15, 20 pounds, maybe a big one. No, this one weighed 80. Hey, oh, no, he's 75, three of them. Good hey, night. They, I call them my Arnold Schwarzenegger coons. 75 Okay, they look pounds, like they man. was on steroids. And I uh-huh. said, baby, hey, you got to, hey, quit buying that cat food. I said, this is dangerous. You ain't lying. I said, hey, because them, them, them coons right there, a big one's Okay. So are you allowed to shoot them? Hey. What's the rule, Mark? Well, hey, I just said I ain't going to get into the shooting part. <laughs> okay. My man needs no. help. He hey, made his quit, girlfriend quit cry. Quit making your girlfriend or your wife mad at you for shooting a possum. Okay. <laughs> if that's my advice to you. There's plenty of possums in this world. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's this is what hey, you I, say, baby. I got to take care of this problem. I'm going to shut this door right here. Don't, yeah, don't the problem the is noise. three yards with a turkey choke seems aggressive. That's, yeah, uh, pretty like, aggressive. Just go kick him. Like, he ain't. You can get your point across to a possum without shooting him. I mean, what was yeah. he going to attack you? No. There was a possum eating my dog food one time. They're a nasty animal. Yeah, I had very to get, gross. I had to get one out of Brittany's glove box of her car one day. Ooh. I don't know how he got in there. I had one in the house in Alabama. And that was one day post-surgery. I'm serious. Yeah. In the house? In the house. Yeah. I had one. Possums are wild, man. They get lots of places. Well, no, no. Because, hey, look, whoever owned the house before I bought it had cut a little hole to do something with the plumbing. And all he had done was put a little, oh. made him a little door. And got a crawl space yeah, out there. Yeah, and for put it. it in there. We had that, that happen last year at our duck camp up in Arkansas. Yeah. Except, you know, it wasn't a possum that got in there. Well, what? Skunk. Oh, 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 that's even more. Oh. Family of skunks, and then he got trapped. Oh, oh, hey. oh no. My wife is using the restroom, the bathroom. Uh-oh. And she comes walking out. She's half asleep, okay? She says, hey, you need to do something about that rat in the bathroom. <laughs> and there's a possum. <laughs> Was so, it up? Was it by the tub drain? Is uh, that where they yeah. cut the hole? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no. So look, I go in. Same thing that got us. <laughs> no, no. Look, I, I'm looking. I'm saying, darling, it ain't a rat. She said, "What is it?" I said, "It's a big old possum." Yeah. You know, so I pick him up. All he done is play possum. He just. Yeah, that's what he should have you know, told his like girlfriend. Out, oh, that is. That'd been a good line. She said he was playing possum. Yeah, that's what I he should have said. <laughs> Oh, baby, he's just playing. <laughs> so one time a possum was messing with my dog, and I kept shooting at him and missed. Then I got a softball. 
I didn't miss with that. I drilled oh. him. Then another time, my dog killed a possum in the backyard. I walk out, my dog's going nuts. And he's a bass there, and he's just jumping up and down on it. I said, oh, no, this is a problem. And I was, last well, maybe he was giving it CPR. No, well, it, <laughs> and then I walk up, and I'm looking at this possum, and I'm like, I'm about to pick this thing up and go throw it in the woods, right? Because, I mean, it's dead. But then I said, what if it's playing possum? That's right. And then I'm going to pick it up and it's going to go. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Something, something tell me Dublin done got the squeaker out of him. Yeah. yeah. Well, I shot him just in case. It won't be yeah. his. And then I throw him over the uh, fence. Now, a possum is a nasty animal. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care what anybody says. He a nasty cat. That's it. I've and, seen him crawl from places he shouldn't be. Oh, oh me but, and you both. And he's got the most teeth of any North American yep, mammal. Yep, he does. Oh, yeah. Is that a true statement or just? Uh -huh. Oh, that's, that's true. He does. Yeah. Yeah, he got yeah, the most he's got, teeth of any North American oh, yeah. mammal. They're very ugly. I only know that because when I took game mammals and fur bears in college or yeah. something, that was one of the first things yeah. you learned. And hey, his fur ain't worth nothing. Possums. Oh, ain't yeah. much of it. 50 teeth. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's got a set of teeth on him now. Anyways, yeah. Clay. You're fine. Yeah. Apologize to her. That's like, it. I mean, and say, don't look, do it again. Yeah, yeah, don't do it in front of her. And next right. time, say, why don't you go back to the bedroom? Yeah. yeah. If you just feel would the need go, to yeah, snuff out her, the possum. You just tell her to go get, hey, would you go get my. Also, yeah, take a step back. around. Pow. Yeah. And. Did that possum explode? Yeah. Just go oh, yeah. grab him by the <laughs> tail yeah. next time. Yes. Oh, yeah. He melted. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Was it turkey choke? Yeah. Oh, from three yards? I've done the, that. Hopefully that was a typo and he meant. I've sorry. done that to an armadillo just out of spite because me and him was having a pretty good battle and I finally caught up to yeah. him. But, I saw an armadillo. No, he's an armadillo. I chased an armadillo the other day because I was going to kill him. They're it. bad about digging holes in your yard. Yeah, and tearing up oh, sprinkler lines yeah. and everything yeah. else. That's why I chased him. Yeah. He was, I said, I took off oh. and I was going to kick the fire out of him. Let me tell you something. They're quick. You better have a good boot on. Don't oh, kick yeah. him with tennis shoes. <laughs> yeah. He wins on that exchange. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's a good thing yeah, I didn't. He got pretty good teeth, too. Pop? Armadillos? Yeah. Uh, he's got some real good claws. He's got some real good claws yeah, he on got his claws. legs. He got claws and armor. You can't oh, yeah. grab his tail and pull him out of a hole. No, nope. he's he's stronger. He got nope. some, I tried that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have too. <laughs> With a glove on, because I, you know, you hear that deal about leprosy or whatever. They carry their yep. carriers of leprosy. Yeah. Well, I was a kid. Yeah. Weird. Do we what have else? You got one more? Yeah. I go got ahead. one more. Yeah, one go more. I think this one's probably an easy answer, but it's easy. also kind of deep. I like it easy. Mr. No idea. GL. GL. GL emails in. I know him. Hey. Here's his question. His son has made Asked the him how his Bombers baseball team. He's eight years old and really enjoys it. All right. Little league. Problem is, tournaments are on weekends, which includes some Sundays. We go to church every Sunday and Wednesday night. Good thing. But my church feels that baseball isn't a good reason to miss church. Thoughts? Travel baseball? I'm assuming. Yeah. Yeah. You can go to church out of town. Yeah. You don't have to go to your church every time. I was going to say, not only that, but if it when is, you go to the building, it's a building. Yeah. You can have church, church with your team. Yeah. You can lead, have church with your team. Like lead a devotional said. for the eight year old. There you it. go. Have church on Sunday mornings with your kids. You'll get more investment out of that than you will probably go into that building. And here is the truth of the matter. Here's, the, here's where the rubber meets the road. Rubber meets the road. If your kid sees that baseball is more important than Jesus, He'll see that. Yeah. And huh. but if your kid sees that Jesus is more important than baseball, he'll see that. Yeah. And there's no correct answer. Hey, I've missed church for a Saints game. They lost. Shocker. Yeah. <laughs> I'm okay with that. I've missed church for them Judas ducks. You're getting ready to leave and a big yeah. bunch of them come oh, yeah. in right there and you're like, Oh, we stay in another thirty minutes now and then you don't kill squat. I can't mm -hmm. tell you how many times I've yeah. done it on Sunday morning. Oh yeah. Oh, but yeah. I've done it. It yeah. comes down to your heart, yeah, and it's very important that your kid sees what's most important yeah. in your life. Yeah. If your kid thinks Little League's more important than Jesus, that's a problem. Yeah. 100%. I think it's a cool opportunity to do something with those kids, to yeah. have a Sunday school-esque type service for those kids at the ball field. And you, and, you can do it most, wherever you want. Yeah. And most coaches and invite everybody that I've been involved team, in we gonna are God-fearing men. Yeah. Okay. Because we said prayers before the game. Yeah, a lot of them have to be because them coaches need forgiveness. Yep. Yep. Uh, For yelling yeah. at the referees. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, well, what's our Some verse? Some of them parents, too. <laughs> <laughs> 
some of them parents. That's crazy. Anyway, I think the I think we're all in agreement. Yeah. You can goo Little League, but you know what your priority is. All right, I got two verses for the possum killer. Well, uh, here we go. Uh, here we go, boys. I'm Pivotally. just going to give you two of them. See, I'm have to do it with a jawbone. <laughs> or, oh, never mind. This, yeah, then, all right. this is that Bible verse, them people that made that last Jurassic World should have read. All right, Genesis 1, 26. Then God said, let us make mankind in our image and our likeness so that they may rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky, over the livestock and all the wild animals and over all the creatures that move like a possum along the ground. We're in charge. There you go. Proverbs 12.10, though. Whoever is righteous has regard for the life of his beast, but the mercy of the wicked is cruel. You don't need to be cruel to animals just because you're in charge of them. You gotta... yeah, but he's looking out for his beast. Exactly. His so there's your two verses of how we should treat animals. We're in charge. Treat them with respect. Amen to that. All right. We'll That's see all y'all next there time. There you go. Right here. That's we're it. out. See you next time. All right.